Let's talk about lab results in thalassemia. As you know, thalassemia is a type of anemia, tired and pale, exercise intolerant. Thalassemia is common in Italy, Greek. Thalassus is sea. Thalassus sea, the Mediterranean Sea. Okay, let's get started. Okay, lab results in alpha thalassemia. Thalassemia is anemia, so low hemoglobin and hematocrit. However, in thalassemia, RBC count is increased. Why? As we said before, nobody knows. So, RBC count is high and nobody knows why. Good. Menser index is less than 13. What's the Menser index? You have to go to the previous video. You will find occasionally, not consistently, some target cells and some teardrop cells. Okay, lab results in alpha thalassemia. Thalassemia is anemia, low hemoglobin and hematocrit. RBC count is high and nobody knows why. As we said before, thalassemia has normal to high RBC count. Menser index is less than 13. What's the Menser index? You gotta go to the previous video. Okay, occasionally you'll find target cells and teardrop cells, but they are not consistent in alpha thalassemia. Why teardrop cells? Because you have some crazy macrophages, okay, eating parts of the RBC is leading to the teardrop cells. RDW is normal because it's a genetic problem, not a nutritional deficiency. Iron study is normal. FEP, the free erythrocyte protoporphyrin, is normal because it's not a heme problem, it's a globin problem. What about hemoglobin electrophoresis? It depends. If you, we are talking about the alpha cell, the thalassemia trait, the hemoglobin electrophoresis will be completely normal. However, if we are talking about three gene deletions, hemoglobin H, you'll find hemoglobin H and electrophoresis. Four gene deletions, we are talking about hemoglobin BART disease, you'll find the hemoglobin BARTs and the hemoglobin electrophoresis. So it depends. But usually, hemoglobin electrophoresis is normal, because most of the cases are alpha thalassemia trait. How about beta thalassemia minor? Again, low hemoglobin and hematocrit because it's anemia. In thalassemia, RBC count is normal to high and nobody knows why. Again, target cells, teardrop cells, but here they are consistent. In beta thalassemia, they are consistent. Why teardrop cells? Because of the macrophage. RDW, Normal. How about iron studies? Normal. Free erythrocyte protoporphyrin? Normal. Hemoglobin electrophoresis? Okay, so the hemoglobin A will be decreased. However, hemoglobin A2 increased and hemoglobin F increased. Now, the big one, beta thalassemia major. Same thing, low hemoglobin and hematocrit increase RBC count. Menser index, again, less than 13 because it's thalassemia more than 13 and iron deficiency anemia. RDW here is high, why? Because there is hemolysis. So the bone marrow will try to produce new cells gradually. At the beginning, they will be normal settings and they will begin to become micro settings. So RDW will start to increase due to increased variation. Red cell distribution width. Iron studies, normal. FEP, normal. However, since there is hemolysis, we will get unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia. From the protoporphyrin, consistently we will find target cells, teardrop cells. Increased reticulocyte count due to hemolysis. Bone marrow is trying to push harder and produce immature RBCs, baby red cells known as reticulocytes. How old jolly bodies are? Basophilic nuclear remnants inside the RBCs. Immature cells. 
nucleated RBCs are immature because normal RBCs do not have any nucleus. What about the hemoglobin electrophoresis? Here, the hemoglobin A, it's not decreased. There is no hemoglobin A. Nothing. None whatsoever. How about hemoglobin A2? Increased. Hemoglobin F? Increased. So, that's it for the lab results of thalassemia. And I'll see you in the next video. Please take care and subscribe.